After about 25 hours of play, I finally completed The Last of Us 2. I have a lot to say about it, most people do. I do plan to review the game properly at some point, but for now, I just want to talk about the marketing of the game and how I, as a massive fan of the first game, feel completely lied to and used. When news about the cutscenes leaking hit Twitter, I muted every word I could think of regarding The Last of Us. Joel, Ellie, Naughty Dog, The Last of Us, The Last of Us 2, and so on. Every time YouTube would recommend a video to me surrounding The Last of Us, I would tell the algorithm I wasn't interested for fears that spoilers would be lurking in the comments. It is for this reason I stayed away from all new trailers for the game. I kind of wanted to go in blind. I had, however, seen two trailers beforehand as well as a couple of gameplay reveals. The issue I have with these two trailers is that they lie to us, with one example being particularly egregious. The first being the reveal trailer. This trailer shows Ellie playing through the valley in a house after killing everyone inside. We see Joel enter and find Ellie and ask, What are you doing, kiddo? Ellie replies that she's going to kill every last one of them. There were many theories around this trailer that stem from the idea that Joel isn't actually there and he's a figment of Ellie's imagination. A theory I would have considered until the next trailer that clearly showed Joel alive and well. What the hell are you doing here? You think I'd let you do this on your own? In anticipation for the game, I'd taken this scene and started to build a picture of what the second game would look like, what it would be about. I was convinced that either Joel or Ellie, or perhaps both would die, but it seemed our two beloved characters would be hitting the road together again. Even if the theories from the first trailer were to be believed, the chemistry from the two would still be interesting despite Joel not physically being there. There was one small problem, this was completely fake. Joel is long dead before this scene and the lines you'd think I'd let you do this on your own are actually from another character. Why is this a problem? I feel completely cheated out of not just this scene but the story I was promised in the trailer. I'm well aware that trailers these days often include or omit things that do or do not end up in the final product, with MCU films being a good example, but this scene is so integral to your expectations going in that to not only not include it, but strip away the potential that it held is an awful thing to do to fans who have been clamouring for months, even years, to get their hands on the game. It's not an effective way to subvert audiences' expectations this way. The trailer manages to do it well enough by leading you to believe that Dina takes a bullet to the head. Please stop! No! What's frustrating for me is I cannot understand why the trailers made this choice. I wouldn't expect people would have been withholding pre-orders for this game if they'd not included this specific scene. If they were trying to show that Joel was indeed in the game, they could have picked scenes from earlier. It's just bizarre. Like I said, I have a lot to say about this game and I plan to review it as well as propose my idea of the story in the future. So if you're interested, then please do subscribe. But that's just been a quick video. Thanks for watching.